how much time would you say a product team should spend in the product discovery and brainstorming phase? Mm. Mm. Great question. Uh, well, it has been condensed to a week. Um, and by like, if, I don't know if you, there's, it's called the sprint book, but Google Ventures basically developed a uh, methodology that takes that whole cycle of going through the discovery process, coming up with ideas, prototyping and testing and validating down to a week. That's far too short, in my opinion, um, for good work, uh, but it can be done. And I think really what you'll what you'll see is that the, the more time you spend going through those cycles, uh, the more refined your product will be. You also might pivot a lot. And it's really, you know, how much time can you spend, um, can you expend on those pivots before you need to deliver something? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that iteration time, perhaps. Mm -hmm. is that, would, do you yeah. use that term? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, I would say that you can, I mean, you know, brainstorming is something that happens in a day. Um, you know, discovery can happen in a day too. It can happen in a week. You know, you line up uh five to eight interviews you know you you catch a lot of information with with even with really small sample sets like that uh and then going you know having those interviews spending a day or two synthesizing a day brainstorming um and then you know a couple of days prototyping you can really do that in a week um i think what's then what happens is people sort of end up you know at, at the end of that week they, they think you know they know what they need to do and sometimes they they, do, they very well do but it's also important to be willing to go back to the drawing board um, if yeah. some of those tests don't work out. Yeah. Actually, you know what you just described sounded like, you know, a 48 hour sprint over a startup weekend where <laughs> people come up with an idea and then you try and refine it. You create a minimum viable product. You go out and you focus group test it in whatever way, you know, on Facebook or out in a mall. Um, you know, uh, so it sounded, you know, sort of like a, you know, a truncated, you know, version of what a real company might do. Yeah, companies, you know, in my experience, don't do do that kind of ad hoc, scrappy research, which is still really helpful. I mean, a lot of times it's because, you know, there's like legal and policy restrictions around representing the company um, and who you talk to representing the company and it makes re it creates barriers for research. Um, but if you can just get out and talk to people um, right at the get go, um, yeah, that's really invaluable. And you can do you can do intercepts and just walk, you know, go to a public place. Well, you used to. Um, it's a little trickier now um, finding public spaces where you can sit down and talk to people for twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to come to New Zealand. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you know that's one of the things actually that I think New Zealand ought to be considering is how do we become a, a, you know a, a product uh, you know testing you know space um, a product development and, and you know product testing uh, lab for the ten thousand new products that the world might you know you know bring to market or companies might bring to market. Um, you know, for one thing, people have thought actually about New Zealand as being a good place to do a product launch, be, you know, uh, to, uh, and product test uh, because it's off Broadway. And if it doesn't work here, you know, then you could go back to Silicon Valley and do it again like it never happened. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, that I think that there's, you know, a lot of questions on the minds of Kiwis and, and Australians uh, over in Queensland uh, uh, now. Um, you, know, you know, what what will this part of the world, you know, do, uh, especially if we come out of COVID, we're sort of out of it for the second time. Um, and if we stay out of it, we've become insulated, but we certainly can have film productions here because people can go on location and there's no, you know, you don't have to wear a mask if you're on camera. Um, and so there's definitely, you know, capabilities here that, you know, because of we, we can meet face to face and we're back in what we call here level one. And so there are huge restrictions, obviously, everywhere. Europe's getting, unfortunately, a second wave. Um, I'm not sure how things are right now in San Francisco exactly, but, um, but California seems to have, you know, done better than other states, the Midwest. And actually, there was a graph today correlating red states with increasing numbers of, um, you know, have you you've probably seen that? Yeah, 
And so, you know, the, there are certain parts of the world now where have become better places for design thinking solely because there's an opportunity to do all those five steps uh, in more productive ways because you can get together with people and, you know, the group process, I think, is part of the design thinking process. Yeah, 